Hello, welcome to this brief weather update, and uh, this will be a brief one. We're just going to go over the storms that are occurring over here into off to the west here. We have severe thunderstorm warnings. It looks like one tornado warning over there, but uh, no uh, tornado warnings right now uh, in, this, in, in this cluster. But this is heading toward our area uh, and getting closer, as you can see. It's entering New Jersey, and it's probably going... Oh, there is a tornado warning that was just issued for this cell. It looks like south of Allentown. Uh, and this is all moving in. It looks like New Jersey is probably going to get the brunt of it again. Mm. Um, uh, and here's why this stuff is flaring up. We're looking at the temperatures here, and you can see it's much hotter in this area. Here on Long Island, it's in the 60s, mid-60s. It's not bad at all outside. Uh, even in uh, Jersey Shore, but as a minute you head west into these uh, western parts of New Jersey, southwestern parts of New Jersey and Pennsylvania, you're in the 80s, and that's adding the fuel for these thunderstorms. Uh, now let's uh, look at the dew point. Uh, and see uh, what uh, the dew points are. So again, we have not that humid over here. Temp dew points are in the 50s, but as we go out west, you can see this is a warm front here. So uh, as this warm front is colliding with this cooler air, this is like a focal point for storms here developing. All right, uh, and uh, again, you have all the fuel for this. And uh, we're going to look at the Cape now and see what the Cape indexes are. And they're very high off to the west. You could see that. Uh, again, conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms in that area, and we are, our area is under a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, however, uh, well, we'll see what happens, but uh, let's look at the radar loop here. We'll take the temperatures out of here. Uh, but again, you can see these temperature observations. Right now, Long Island is in the 60s, uh, and uh, for New Jersey, it's a little warmer in Tom's River, but it's a lot warmer as you head to West. You have some 90 degree reading, so absolutely steamy in Pennsylvania, which is the fuel for these storms. So let's take that off. Let's put this radar into motion and show you what's going on. Um, so uh, here we go. So again, here are the storms. Here is this line, really intense line of storms here that is approaching uh, our area. Uh, and again, this will just have to bear watching, but it looks like some of the mild signal is going to come in more around 6, 7 o'clock. I think it's going to come in more like 5 o'clock uh, at the rate we're going. So but uh, I'm not going to be able to provide updates at the time at that particular time. But uh, any storms that will affect uh, our area, I'll, I'll try to film if they are severe. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's see the latest storm reports. Uh, see if there were any tornadoes confirmed. For uh, we had hail uh, in Staten Island of 0.88 inch. Uh, hail at West Hampton Beach with another cell. Uh, 1.75 inch hail at Richmond. That's that's Staten Island as well. Uh, and also Staten Island. So Staten Island got the hail. Don't see any reports of tornadoes here. I don't see any reports of tornadoes. So uh, I'll have that for you later in the next weather. We got to get through this uh, this uh, thing. And right now we're just kind of now casting it. I mean, I guess I could look at a few of the models and show you. We'll look at the satellite image here and uh, see. Uh, uh, you can sort of see uh, this. This you can see these high cloud tops here. Uh, uh, and uh, let's let's go to this, and then we'll wrap this up here. Um, I just want to go look at some of the short-range models here, uh, HRRR in particular. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and see how the HRRR tracks this line and see if it holds it together. And it does keep it together, and it brings it through a little earlier, more like 5, 6 o'clock. We're going to start having some thunderstorms. Uh, looks like the worst of it, though, is hitting New Jersey. So we'll have to see what happens. Again, we have this cool marine air, so you would think it would weaken these things. You would think, but uh, these things hold together, so we'll have to keep our eye on, our eye on that. Um, let me look at the NAM, and let's see what we have here. Yeah, much more intense over New Jersey, where you see the purple. They weaken a little bit, so um, we'll have to see what happens. I'm thinking they should weaken. Hopefully they do. But I'll let you know later what happens. Uh, again, just be prepared for the possibility of severe weather, especially from New York City on west and through New Jersey. That concludes this weather update.